Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Friday Night Variety Show. My name is John, and I'll be your host and guide, I guess. I don't know. I'm just the guy that slaps all this stuff together. Hey, today's theme is margarita. National Margarita Day was this week, so we went all in, and we decided to do a whole show full of margarita-inspired content. Doing a show like this has been really great for me. It gives me an outlet for my creative energy, Plus, the fact that it's a variety show means whatever idea I have, it goes on the list. I have a ton of ideas. So if you are a creative type person, send me a message. We'll get you involved in the Friday Night Variety Show also. It's really fun and the time commitment is pretty low. So cheers to you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the show. I'll see you on the other side. I hardly ever have margaritas. I, I know there's salt on, on the rim if you like salt. I've had them before, but like the only time I think I've ever had them was that I don't, what is, it's one of the Mexican places in Lawrence. I can't think of the streets anymore. Is it on a street? Like, is it like an alley know? margarita? <laughs> it was an alley margarita. It was, uh, somebody abandoned it mm. and I had to rescue it from a squirrel. I thought the crushed uh, acorns around the rim made for an interesting touch. Uh, I don't think that's a margarita. Yeah. Oh, is it not? No, yeah. I think that's like an acornita. That would make that makes more sense why it was less of a liquid and more of just a bowl of mixed nuts. But I'm fascinated by why like margarita glasses are so fucking huge. I've seen them like head sized before. You got to take into account. Alcohol generally does not taste well, right? But lots of people really like the effect of alcohol. So therefore, to get the effect of alcohol as quickly as you can, as painlessly as possible, you make a giant candy drink full of a ton of alcohol, and then you sell it really, really cheap at restaurants so that people get really trashed and buy a lot of them and eat a lot of food and then leave their wallet behind and their phones and everything else and you can kill them and take their identities and, <laughs> you know, live in a nice house for once. Uh, I went to a frat party, and they were like, dude, hey, it's $10 to get in. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. I'm from, I'm from Dublin, Scotland. And they went, you're from Dublin, Scotland? And I went, yeah. And they went, hey, guys, this guy's from Dublin, Scotland. They're like, hey, let him in, man. And they, like, you know, gave me a keg stand and everything. I did a terrible accent all night. And like, uh, maybe a month later, I was walking down the sidewalk one day and this guy walked up to me. He was like, Hey man, how's it going? And I was like, good. How are you doing? He was like, Hey, what happened to your accent? And I was like, Oh shit. Oh yeah. So yeah. Clearly geography majors are manning the door there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know. It was, it was, it was fun. Uh, speaking. Yeah. I was in uh, Florida once upon in my life and went on a cruise and the thing about cruises, and this was not one of the big cruises, this was kind of uh, all, all things included sort of cruise. Was it like and one of those, those three hour tour kind of deals? <laughs> it was actually, yeah. Um, that's why you guys didn't see me for the past four and a half years was uh, I was on a three hour cruise. And the, you know, one of the, the selling points is that you basically get as many of this special type of drink that they had and the particular drink this time was a margarita. And it's probably about four in when you realize that the reason that they are able to do that is because there's no real alcohol in there. It's almost like they uh, maybe spritz it with some sort of alcohol fragrance just to give you that that sort of tequila sensation. But there's nothing huh. in there. And so I, I will admittedly, I did end up throwing up by the end of the day, but it was not because of. <laughs> That's the, the Applebee's the margarita experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, these margaritas are a dollar. I could drink five of them. Oh, wait a minute. I've not drunk five of them and no effect at all. I think that's just the Applebee's experience, honestly. <laughs> We've removed the flavor and effect from every item on the menu. Come on down to Applebee's.
hundreds time check in Facebook Stopped caring how I look Unemployment starting to take its toll I'm beginning to think It's about time for a stiff drink Gonna day drink through this pandemic black hole Wasted during the day again in Coronaville White claw shots, bloodies with celery sauce Some people shame that getting soused is my end game But who cares? The world has come to a halt Sipping wine in the shower To make my own happy hour Cause people are treating this thing like the flu uh, Notice my cute patootie uh, Has become a big booty Goddamn Doritos, guess that sucker just grew Wasted during the day again in Coronaville Wine coolers, tequila, and a stout with rich malt Some people shame that getting soused is my end game But come on, the world has come to a halt Can't stand watching the news So I head for the booze Woo! Shopping ain't safe so I use what I got Pour it all in the blender Call it the COVID bender That effed up concoction really hits the spot Wasted during the day again in Coronaville For Locos, Mickey's, Forties, and Margs with rock salt Some people shame that getting soused is my end game Shut your mask hole! The world has come to a halt with you oh oh my god all my dreams all my dreams are coming true first i got first i got a b minus on my algebra test and and now this it was because of the b minus that uh, the scales tipped in your favor 
I just, I, I'm just worried. I'm, I'm peaking too soon. Second grade is, is, is working out beautifully. So much better than first grade. We're going to have to take a couple steps back here because you being in an algebra class uh, and in high school, I assume that you were old enough to go to the prom. There's also the inherent problems that we have with me being 17 and you being a second grader. Listen, if I give you my pudding and my and my and my milk for the next week, will you go to the prom with me? Oh, dairy products are my weakness. I can't believe he gave the rose to Rebecca. Oh my God. Hey, squirrel. Yeah? Are you enjoying college? I guess, I mean, it's kind of boring. I didn't think it would be so much like school. Do you like nuts? Duh, I'm like a squirrel. Do you like getting trashed on margaritas? Oh, yeah, I do. You should try. Acornarita! <gasps> Acornarita! Made with the finest acorns and the finest margaritas. Acornarita! You think I don't know this is stupid? I know this is stupid, but sometimes you have to embrace stupid. Acornarita! Oh my god. Acornarita! I'm so wasted. Acornarita! Acornarita. We just nutted in your margarita. Hey, Cornerita. I was really hoping to get that perfect beach body for Vanessa, you know? We were a little concerned about, you know, uh, the whole Vanessa thing. Like, aren't some octopuses, like, poisonous? Because, you know, it's, I mean, I don't want to, like, not what you're doing as like weird or unnatural or anything because some of us really do believe that but you know we're really kind of concerned about your safety listen i i understand your safety but i i promise you it's totally consensual i mean it's not like i just found a <laughs> random octopus on the beach and like oh this might feel good like but hey uh, octopus has got beaks and stuff right i'm sorry i didn't quite hear what you said there i was distracted by uh, the thought of vanessa Oh. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Vanessa might have come with me. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, that's why your sweats are all like, oh, wait, that's, oh, oh. Well, I just thought maybe she would like to see the process of me bulking up, man. Oh, uh, you know what? I Like, I was going to, like, my next question was going to be something about how does she keep hydrated, but now I'm, like, realizing how much you're sweating, and I'm, I'm like. Dude, dude, dude. You want to try it? Okay. Yeah. reduction surgery because my uh -huh. butt was too bulbous and people were starting to make comments about my butt everywhere and so i was like you know what would cut that the fuck out butt Cutting reduction surgery 
So is it not cool that I just commented on how little your butt is? Or No, I take it as a compliment. Because okay. before, I don't know if I mentioned this, but people would say comments like, wow, you've got a large butt. And your butt is the shape of a bubble. And you have a bubble butt. And they said it with this look in their eye, like, wow, I think less of you as a person because of your butt. That look you're explaining, is it similar to, to this? Your face kind of looks like a butt. Yeah, well, I had face butt tree surgery to make my face more butt-like. It totally worked. Thank you. I wasn't getting enough comments on my face. Yeah, when so. I say your face looks like a butt, that's not that's not a negative thing. That was just like a comment like, hey, have you noticed that if you were to hold up your face and a butt next to each other, they look remarkably similar. Yeah, that's by design. Well done. I have never seen a face that looks so much like a butt. That was very brave of you to get that surgery done. I mean, Thanks. face surgery, that's serious. Yeah, it helped. They had a lot of butt left over at the, at the plastic surgery clinic. Oh, your face is made of recycled butt. Yeah. Do you think there's any of my former butt in your current face? Whoa. Whoa, you just blew my mind, man. Maybe we're yeah. butt buddies. Buzz, 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 buzz
Buzz, 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 buzz. Ho, oh, hold the fee. Give the fee to the to me. Here's the fee to me. Here's the fee to the kiki kiki. Here's the fee to the to me. Give the told you not to do that anymore. What's the point of having a small knife if you can't stab your mom with it? <laughs> we, uh, I mean, but it's I- It's so sharp, uh, you're hardly bleeding at all. That'll change in a matter of minutes. Let's find out. What? God, stop it. I'm starting to think this is the reason why you've been orphaned so many times. The knife is only an inch and a half. That's enough to poke into someone's eye. Oh, I would never poke your eye. Is there any way I could persuade you to maybe give up the knife and for, for something, let's say, less hurtful? You could get me a puppy. If it tried to bite you, I would just stab it. Hand over the knife, and we'll go to the shelter right now and get you a puppy. No, you have a look in your eye that you're being insincere. Stab! Ah, okay, okay, you got me. Fine, we'll go to the shelter first, and then you can give me the knife. But not in the, 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 the knife into me kind of way. Oh, you found my loophole. jumps like Gaston. No one lumps like Gaston. No one's incredibly down in the dumps like Gaston. He has an imbalance of serotonin. Oh, what, oh, a, what guy, a guy, Gaston. Gaston. Well, my name is Amanda Wells, and I make monsters. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> um, not for a living, but for fun. Um, I'm, I'm an ICU nurse by trade. So I know what wounds and things look like. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I just, in my house, make monsters. How did you get started making monsters? When I had my own kids many years ago, um, you know, I made their Halloween costumes and, and masks and we decorated for Halloween and things like that. And then, um, up, I started watching Face Off, and and the more I watched it, the more I went, uh, I can do that. And so I started teaching myself how to make the masks and how to make molds, and and it kind of grew. Uh, okay, well I know how to do this. Now I'm going to learn how to do that, and uh, eventually it turned into you know uh, making monsters full sized. So. Can you see him? You have full size monsters in your house right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a full size Skeksy behind me. It, we we do really big Halloweens in our house, and you know, giant pirate ships and whatever. And uh, one year, my youngest son wanted to be um, a Skeksy, wanted to be Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal, so I made him a little costume. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to have one of those in your house? You know, I'm a child of the '80s, so I always wanted one. And uh, oh, I don't years ago my husband took me to the um jim henson museum of puppetry arts in atlanta and they had the original dark crystal on display there and one of the, the skexies and how they made them and i just sat there and cried and the more i looked at them the more i was like i can make that i can do that so i came home and made one and then i made two and then i made more <sighs> what does it take to uh, to make one of these um, well, I start with uh, sculpting. I usually start with the head. I sculpt the head out of clay. Um, I use a water-based clay uh, just because it's cheapest and easiest. 
And then um, I make a mold out of gypsum cement um, with that. And then you clean it out and then I fill it with um, mass grade latex to make a skin. And then uh, fill that with um, a two-part polyfoam. So they're basically really cool Nerf balls. And uh, then I paint them with an adhesive mixed with acrylic paint and airbrushing and whatever else I need to do. And um, then usually just start building the bodies with the help of my wonderful husband and sewing costumes and just add to them from there. What yeah. other things inspire you? Oh, I like the old uh, originals, like the 80s stuff, because, you know, I'm an 80s kid. I like the kind of the creatures, like the good Star Wars creatures, you know. Um, I, I, I like the Muppets and the creatures and the, you know, um, anything with scales. It's pretty cool with me. It started out the Skeksis originally were just going to be a Halloween display. This was just my Halloween display. And um, my kids actually said it was like, Mom, that's too good to be just a Halloween display. So they actually uh, got me in contact with the uh, game net downtown. And he is very nice. Gene net is very, very nice and let me play in his window. And so now he just lets me play in his window. It has um, the, the Crypt Keeper. It's, I call it the, the Keeper's Collection. So it's the Crypt Keeper. And then there's Zool from Ghostbusters, the Gamorrean Guard from Jedi. Um, there's Hoggle is standing in there. Um, I'm trying to think what else is in there. There's a ghost from Mario. It's just got a whole bunch of like nostalgia stuff in there. Um, another Skeksy head is mounted on the wall. Um, yeah, some stuff from like Little Shop of Horrors. So yeah, that's what's in there right now. I, I, I like the good old nerdy stuff. <laughs> I do big. I've, I've done some small things. I have here. I mean, I'll do some little like, you know, I made this little guy. From, from Jedi, you know, slash just be chrome. This is usually what I do when I'm sitting at home on call. <laughs> this is a podling from the Dark Crystal. This is his head. Um, he was in the window before, but you can see, if you're wondering, see it's polyfoam on the inside and they're, it's like a Nerf ball. It's just a really cool Nerf ball. So, but that's how I make them. I'm working right now. I'm learning how to do silicone and doing more with silicone. It's just, a, it's a different technique and it requires a lot more uh, time and patience. Um, so right now I'm working on this guy who is gonna be a Wolfman doll. It's like Wolf Wolf from the Munsters, only it's my version. So he's, he's in silicone and I just finished painting his eyes. And then this will be the fabric for his clothes eventually. What a fun, yeah. amazing hobby you found there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? What would be the easiest way for someone who also wants to do this? How could they jump in? Um, I would say the first thing you want to do is practice sculpting. Um, once you can sculpt something, and it, I don't think sculpting is, if you can draw, you can sculpt. This is my head form that I use that start with a head form and sculpt on whatever you want on it. And then start with plaster. It's cheap, it's easy. I'm all about being cheap. Um, start with plaster, make a mold of it and just fill it with good old latex. Just the cheapest stuff you got, peel it out and start working with it. The more you do it, the more you'll learn. There's a lot of trial and error in this. Years of error. <laughs> but you know what, those errors, you learn something. You learn what not to do, so. I would just say, if you want to do this, do it. Just don't, don't even hesitate. It's so much fun. Um, there's no reason for me to do this it, other than it's just completely fun. I love doing it. And there's, you know, it's cool. And just start trying and make something, anything. Because everything's kind of dark right now. And if you can make a little funny creature and it makes you smile, just do it. Thank you, Amanda. This was this was really fantastic. I love it. No problem. You sure picked a pretty remote uh <laughs> Um, location for our for our rendezvous. 
Death Mountain is the most romantic place in the entire village. Hey, you there. Me? You look like you could use a vacation. Boy, do I ever! Man, when you get a good look at a guy, you know how to peg him. Well then, huh? how about yeah? a trip to Death Mountain? Where's that? Located near the northeast corner of Hyrule, you'll find Death Mountain. See the incredible summit of Death Peak. Visit the restorative hot springs. Talk to the locals. Take a magic minecart ride. See the currently corrupted divine beast, Bob Rudania. Visit one of the many lava lakes. Check out some of the ancient shrines. Fight an igneo talus. Work on your tan. And when you're all done for the day, stay the night in the beautiful Goron City. And if you're up for further adventuring, why not trick down the great fairy and see what she can do for you? Wow, that's incredible! I better start smashing pots now! Get me some rupees! And while I'm at it, kick some chickens! Show them chickens what's what! Haha, <laughs> you go right ahead. And while you're doing that, why don't we take a look at some satisfied vacationers? If you want to try something a little more adventurous than Kakariko Village and its roaming, psychotic chickens, I recommend a stay on Death Mountain. The views are amazing. On days when the sulfurous gas and ash aren't too thick, you can see clear to Lake Hylia. And on my last trip up, I even had an interesting conversation with a boulder who was eating another boulder. Just remember to come prepared with your fireproof clothes so you don't spontaneously catch fire, and probably bring a helmet to protect you from what I can only describe as a puzzling quantity of falling rocks. The hot lava spas were everything you think they would be. Whew. I loved my time at Death Mountain, although when I think about it, when I got there, I, I had a full head of hair, and uh, my unmentionables weren't burned by what the pamphlet said was a hot tub in my room, but once you get over the brutal, overwhelming, encroaching heat, it becomes very charming. And uh, if you want to get a good bite to eat there, you can't, because all the inhabitants eat rocks and gemstones, and the only thing they sell at their general store is... Bomb arrows. 10 out of 10, would recommend. The Death Mountain Vacation Package. Just 100 rupees. To book your vacation package, just call 1-800-DEATH today. Sorry, guys are, guys are waiting for me in Call of Duty. Uh, after That's you're done with Call with of Duty, you play Mortal Kombat together? You play video games? You're, uh... You're all right. They got a guy with knives on there that like to practice my technique. Because look at this, it's sloppy. Stab! God! stuff i couldn't get off of butts i do remember that <laughs> i'm over the butts now i think it's a, it's a prime target uh that oh, scene God. that we just did seems to say otherwise sean <laughs> the available evidence certainly uh, uh... You, you've looked into my soul john <laughs> and countered my hypocrisy <laughs> just talk Call me Ted Cruz. <laughs> oh, God. No, no. It would never do that. <laughs> Raisins? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm told. Brick. Are you yeah. riding an improvised Harley? <laughs> God! 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 <laughs>